Let's talk about Clep Diaz, a 4 HP CV and LFO generator that gives you three inputs, three outputs, and three controls and provides an incredible amount of modulation power. I created a cheat sheet that helps you understand the Clep Diaz with one pager. And I'm using that cheat sheet to describe it quickly and then I'll put the cheat sheet in the description. So let's talk about the controls. The first control is the three modes, step, random, and LFO. You can see right now I'm in step mode, which steps the CV changes in equal increments. If I go to random mode, that's the second mode, it steps the CV in random and unequal increments, but still to the same level of negative five volts to positive five volts for the bipolar output and from zero to five volts for the unipolar output. So in random mode, you get random levels of those steps. And then the third mode is LFO mode, which gives you a smooth curve. And depending on how you set the number of steps, which I'll describe in a second, that will actually change the amplitude of that LFO curve. We'll go back to step mode to describe the next control, which describes how the CV changes are actually produced in up mode, which steps it up and then drops, steps it up and then drops. In up down mode, which steps it up and then steps it down. And in down mode, which rises quickly and then steps down, rises quickly and then steps down, almost like a short attack and then a longer decay or release. The number of steps is defined by this third control, the count encoder. The count encoder defines how many steps from zero to 32 on the way up, or is it 31? It's 31 or 32. And it's actually represented by these five LEDs that use binary math to represent how many steps you've got. So if I leave it with the first LED lit, it's one step. If I go with the second LED lit, it's two steps. If I go with the first two LEDs lit, it's three steps, and so on. Again, binary math, fun stuff. So I'll leave it at eight steps, that's the fourth LED lit, and you can see I'm in down mode still, I'm gonna move it back to up mode. And now it's stepping up and dropping down eight steps. Now there are two buttons on the Clep Diaz as well. The step button just lets you actually force a step to happen. So if I quickly hit that a few times, you can see I'm forcing it to jump up. And the second is a reset, which will reset the cycle to the beginning of cycle. And the cheat sheet actually describes where that beginning of cycle is. It differs depending on what mode you're in, the combination of these modes. Now there's three inputs and three outputs. The first input that's really important is the clock. The clock is necessary unless you're gonna use physical steps pushing this button but the clock otherwise defines when the steps happen. So uneven clock signal will create uneven timed steps, but otherwise an even clock signal will create even step ups. The next input is a reset input, which does the same as the button, resets to beginning of cycle. And the third input is a CV input, which changes the count, the number of steps. And I'll actually demonstrate that quickly in a little while. There are then three outputs. The first two outputs are the unipolar and bipolar step CVs or LFO. Those are the CV values. I'm using those CV values now to modulate the cursus at teratos pursuta, which is the high voice that you're hearing in the background.
The third output is a beginning of cycle trigger. And you can see its signals are red on the LED for every beginning of cycle. So I have it set to eight steps. After every eight clock ticks, it hits a beginning of cycle. Now if I put it in up-down mode, that beginning of cycle will go after 16 steps. Because it has to complete an up and a down, which takes longer because it's stepping up and stepping down. So an indicator count of eight here means actually 16 steps, eight up and eight down. And that's the third output. So that's Clip Diaz in a nutshell. Now what you're hearing are these green and blue matching the signals going into different parameters of the CIP. The green, the bipolar, is going into the fold and put. And the blue the unipolar is going into the time input, so changing the timing of my trigger, of my note. Now I will actually also put in a reset signal, so it changes the step up to sometimes shorten and stop short. I'm going to put it in up mode here so it's easier to see. And I'll actually also put in a CV change of the count. So the count will change as well. Let's listen to that. And I'll turn the effects down a bit so you can really hear the direct sound. see every once in a while I get a shorter cycle because the reset hits which I have coming as a random signal from Pamela's new workout. And sometimes it's a long count and sometimes it's a short count. You can see my count LEDs are actually changing because I have an input into the CV that's coming from an LFO from Pam's. So the count is constantly getting longer and then shorter. And that's Clef Diaz in a nutshell. Check out the cheat sheet. That will hopefully be helpful to you. And like I said, I have it printed. Which I really like having it close by without my computer screen in the way.